Hi everybody, Viggle Tips here. Today we're going to be talking about wet paint videos. Now wet paint is a property that Viggle acquired sometime in 2013 or 2014 and a lot of people just seem to be confused by it and frankly we were at first too but today we're going to show you how to make 50 points per video and you're allowed up to 200 videos a day. That's 10,000 points. Now a lot of you have asked about going through the Viggle app to watch wet paint videos. We've never done that. We'd rather do it on our PC on wetpaint.com so that is what this tutorial is going to cover. Now for the purposes of this tutorial we are using Internet Explorer. You do not have to use Internet Explorer if you don't want to. A lot of people prefer it. Some people do not. We'll tell you a little bit later in the video why we're using IE for wet paint. Not a big deal, but it's a convenience factor for us. Okay, so first of all, let's get started by going to wetpaint.com. It's basically an entertainment site, so you'll see a lot of things, uh, of stories, some top news items, and over to the right, you'll see some videos as well. You'll see, uh, it says for plus 50, but what we're going to do is actually start up at the top. So go to the top and click video. Now when that loads, this is the page we're going to start working on. At the bottom, you'll see a tab that says videos. You can tap that or click it. You can click that and you can scroll and see there's a lot of videos available. But you'll also notice over here in the right column, there are three videos to get you started under watch and earn. So what we're going to do is click the first one here about Halloween costumes or celebrity Halloween costumes. Now if you click this, this window would go away. So what we're going to do is either middle click or you can right click and bring up a little sub menu and choose open link in new tab. You can also do this most times by just doing control click. Now you'll see up here that the Celebrity Halloween video has opened in a new tab. That way we have our original window open that we can work from and we can let the video play in a separate tab kind of in the background. Okay, for time purposes we're going to edit that and speed up just a little bit and get to the point where the video is at the end. Now when it's done you'll see a pop-up window just like this that says you've earned 50 points. Close that window and really from this window you could work on the other videos listed below. There's still three more on the side and there are actually still four more below that. But you're probably going to run into those videos later so we're not going to worry about those right now. Close out your tab, go back to the main page where we started and in that side column go to the second video, open it in a new tab, something about the hills here, never seen the show, and let that play and it'll go through the whole process again. Once you do those three videos on the side, just start working your way down. You can start here with the Heidi Montag and Spencer Pratt video. Again, control click or right click and open in a new tab. Let that play in the background. Now it used to be that you could play two videos at once and still get points. For us, that doesn't seem to work anymore. For some people it might, you can try it. Double check the title of the two videos you just watched against your points history in Viggle to see if it rewarded or not. If you only got one, then go back and rewatch the missed one and then you'll know that you can only do one video at a time. Now here's why we're using Internet Explorer. Oftentimes during the day we're listening to music on iTunes while we're working or whatever. Well these videos are constantly going to be making noise in the background and nobody wants to go over and keep clicking mute. So if you go up here to your system tray, now our system tray is on top, but yours is in the bottom right corner. Um, ours is in the top right, it's just how we run things. Uh, but in the bottom right corner, you're going to click once on the icon, and you'll see this little drop down that says Mixer. Choose Mixer, and you'll have a window like this pop up. And you can see for any application using sound, you're going to have a volume control here. The way to not have to listen to these videos is to simply choose Internet Explorer or whatever your browser is and pull the volume down on that. 
pull it all the way down. That way we can still use Firefox, which is our regular browser. We can watch YouTube videos. We can stream music through our browser. And Internet Explorer will be muted so we don't have to listen to these insane videos about the housewives of Beverly Hills or whatever. And you can go back and change that at any time. And you can do it for any browser that you're using. Any application that is using sound in some regard, whether it's notifications or otherwise, will have a slider control up in that corner. And when you're done, you can simply just move the icon back up again for future use. So when you scroll through these videos, this page will load endlessly. It'll usually load about five, maybe six videos. And when you get to the bottom, you'll see a little icon there that says more. If you click that, more videos will load. And you can just keep going through them. And all those that we missed on the other pages are going to eventually show up in this stream of videos. You scroll down, you click the more button again, there's even more. Now for us, just because of the size of our screen, we can usually fit about four videos on our screen so we can kind of keep track of where we're going. So we kind of center our browser, go through the four videos that you see there, and then when you're done, just page down, put four more on your screen, and just work from there. That way it's pretty easy to know where you are with them and you're not just getting lost in a barrage of wet paint videos. Now when you've reached your limit for the day, you will get a pop-up saying you've reached your limit and you will not be earning any more points. Plus, hello, your score is up by 10,000 that day. They're not too hard to get through. If you start early and stay diligent, you can get a few thousand points under your belt throughout the day pretty easily. And that's how you use wet paint. You do need a Facebook login to log in with and make sure that your email that you're using to log in with matches your Viggle email. We cannot stress this enough. This is important. If you don't, Wet Paint will create a second Viggle account for you and start posting points under that one. Then you could be labeled as fraud even though you're not intentionally doing so. So make sure your emails match. It's not hard to change your email in Facebook. So that's how you earn videos on Wet Paint. Pretty easy stuff, pretty standard. You can tailor it and use it exactly how you want to that's easiest for you. If you liked any part of this video, do us a favor and click the thumbs up button. Also click subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to our channel. There's more videos to come, including some videos on Swagbucks. Leave a comment below on the kind of video you would like to see. What kind of things in the app have you not quite figured out that you would like some help on? Let us know in the comments and we will do that for you. So subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with a fellow Viggler. As always, you can find us at ViggleTips.com and on Twitter at ViggleTips. Thanks for watching. Keep calm and Viggle on.